Hi guys, Luna here and welcome to this Resident Evil 4 Remake Guide video. Now, the demo may only be 15 minutes long, but you still might be struggling to complete it thanks to the end part of the first mission where you must survive the attack in the village. But don't worry, I will tell you the best way to do this or the quick and easiest method to do this in this guide. So let's jump straight into it. Now, there are ultimately two ways to survive the village attack. You can simply stay alive for five minutes. It used to be only three in the old game, but that has been increased to five minutes for the remake and it's not too difficult by doing laps of the village but it is much longer and it is more dangerous than the best method. There used to be a way to survive in the tower as well in the original but that method is no longer possible as you can see and you are forced to actually find a way to survive in the remake. So the second way and the best way to do this is to kill 13 of the villagers but how will you do that? In the level there are a few things to help you out here. Make sure you pick up the flashbang just before you enter the village and you can save some pistol ammo which might come in handy later. As you enter the village, don't waste any time. Head straight for the house on the left of the fire if you can avoid the enemies and you will trigger a cutscene and barricade the door and you will summon one of those chainsaw wielding guys. But once that's over, you can quickly grab the ammo and the keeling that's on the downstairs and, and head up the stairs to find a shotgun and a grenade. This is key to our success for this mission. If you're quick enough, shoot the guy climbing up the ladder as well behind you and he will fall through the window. If not, you will have to kill him. Then pick up the shotgun shells on the bed and jump out the window. Here is where we will start to kill enemies. Avoid the enemies here and you can run around a little bit. Basically, you want them to gather so we can hit as many as possible with our grenade. And once you're ready and you feel like there's quite a few next to each other, you can throw the first grenade. Once that's done, you can now run through the house on the other side of the fire, past the two enemies who are sitting down, and you will find a battle. Inside is a second grenade. We're going to grab that and head outside and try to get back to the main area. And again, we're going to let some of the enemies gather before throwing another grenade. I actually threw the flashbang here by mistake, but it doesn't matter. Throw the grenade and kill as many as you can. So at this point, plenty of the villagers should be dead, and it's now a case of simply mopping up a few of the enemies with the shotgun. Aim for the head to get easier kills, and try to avoid the chainsaw at all costs, although you can parry the chainsaw if you get too close to him. Now hopefully you've killed enough of the enemies with the grenade that you will only have to blast through a few of the villagers with the shotgun and trigger the cutscene, and you won't even have to use your pistol. If you're having trouble and you do have to take out your pistol, one way to get a few quick kills is if you run up the tower ladder, you can shoot enemies as they climb up with your pistol and shoot them in the head for a few quick easy kills until the chainsaw guy will climb up and you will have to fall through the floor to escape. But I don't think any of you will really have to get to that point if you followed this guide. Now, as you can see for me, the cutscene triggered at around two minutes and 40 seconds instead of the five minutes. It will be slightly shorter or longer for you, depending on how many you killed with the grenades. A lucky few of you might even trigger the cutscene after your second grenade. But guys, that is it. That is how to survive the village attack, the quickest and easiest method in Resident Evil 4 Remake, during the demo and ultimately the full game when it releases in a few weeks. I will be covering the full game when it releases, so if you want to see more of this type of video and guide, like and subscribe for more of this, and I will see you next time. Bye. Poderoso. Where's everyone going? Bingo?